all, I will introduce myself. My name is Ali Pinotman. I'm from hotel management and so is my team. So today I will present our proposal which is the social responsibility ethical training programs. So my team has decided to do these programs so because it is very interesting and very good for all the businesses around the world. So first of all, uh, our training program includes the ethical issue training to understand, to apply the ethical issue in the workplace, to understand the ethics in the workplace, to resolve the ethical dilemmas and how to make a decision when you are in the dilemmas. And also, so the third one is to understand the social responsibility issues and also to understand between the relationship between the social responsibilities and also the profits so there's a correlation between these two so it is very important for the businesses to come to our programs because we will make sure that they will not commit any crimes against their employees and to have a good relationship between the third party which is the customers the supplier and many more so if they are aiming the business are aiming to have a good ethical in their business they will be strive and also succeed in the industry uh, hello my name is Muhammad Hisham Budim Rahman and I'm the next presenter so for the introduction for the I will present about the venue and also the the objective of this program. So the venue is we we, we choose at the Tabung Haji Hotel, uh, which is in Kota Kinabalu, because the place is very uh, high quality hotel, and the the facilities is uh, fully equipped. So it is easy for us to uh, to run this program. So for the objective, uh, the first objective is to ensure that the participant uh, to gain knowledge about uh, ethical theories and they will know about how to do, to how to apply the theories into their workplace uh, for the second objective is uh, to make sure that uh, to allow that the participant to uh, cultivate strong teamwork uh, the last objective is we want to make sure that our participant or the the staffs or the managers that is included in this program to uh, to know that there is a way to solve a problem in uh, in a ways that is very ethical. So that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nuri Dona Zunetla Binti Arifin. Okay, I will explain about training and development program. Okay, first ethic training is ethical issue. The learning objective is to achieve knowledge of variety of ethical theories, enhance awareness and critical self-examination in one's own value and to appreciate the relevance of personal values in the business workplace setting. Co-training method. This training was highly interactive. The presenter will go over the case study and present some general information and identify how to pre how to prevent ethical issue in business or company. Uh, second ethic training is managing ethics in workplace. The learning objective is to cultivate strong teamwork and productivity to support employees growth and meaning. Uh, the training method is particip participant may bring up example uh, that are an ethically grey area and allow presenter to clearly define the organization position in the real life scenario. Water ethical training is uh, resolving ethical di dilemma and making ethical decisions. The learning objective is how to recognize that this is an event to which to react and figure out what abstract ethical rules might apply to the problem. Uh, for training method, the, the presenter will discuss how to recognize and how to apply the ethical decision. 
Thank you. Hello, my name is Muhammad Taufik Bihan Brand. Today, I'm going to, have to present my group assignment. I'm going to, have to present about training and development. For my part, I will present about social responsibility. In social responsibility, got two parts, which is social responsibility issue and profit versus social responsibility. For each part, got learning objective and training method. Okay, for the learning objective for social responsibility is to, identi uh, to identify and evaluate different strategy for responding to social responsibility and the training method for social responsibility issue is to deal the concern that affect the welfare for our entire society associated with the common good and the company also has the responsibility of taking precaution of eh precaution as a stakeholder okay the learning objective for profit versus social responsibility is to identify how strong the correlation between CSR and profit is okay and how companies behave in the periods the they have losses uh, after that uh, the training method for profit versus social responsibility is to caring about stakeholders can lead to increase the profit where the stakeholders support companies the perceive perceive to be socially responsible enhancing prob probability eh prof profitability sorry Okay, that's all for me then. Thank you. My name is Dr. Hadam I am the next presenter. So I will present about the schedule and the thing. Our events start from 7 a.m. with the registration until 8 a.m. So next we directly start with the first slot, which is ethical issue. It takes uh, 2 hours from 8 a.m. until 10 a.m. After the first slot, we have a uh, tea break, which takes uh, 30 minutes only. So second slot which is the managing ethic in work progress so after the second slot we have a lunch and rest and we continue around 2 30 pm for the third slot which is the resolving ethical dilemmas and making ethical decision so this day the third slot also takes two hours from 2 30 pm until 4 30 pm so after the third slot, we continue with the uh, IT and rest and we start after dinner which is at the end for the fourth slot. Hello, I'm Amir Nabil so I will continue about the tentative and schedule. So at 6pm they will have a dinner until 7.45pm and they will continue their slot at 8 to 10pm which is about the social responsibility issues. So in day two, they will have a breakfast at 6.30 until 7.45 a.m. And they will continue their final lesson at 8 to 10 p.m. Sorry, 8 to 10 a.m. which is uh, the profit versus social responsibility. There will be a tea break uh, at 10 until 10.30 a.m. and the training will be dismissed. So that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, right now I'm going to present about the fixed price. Basically, the price for each person is 1,000 ringgit per share. The fees are included for room, food, hall, and goodies. First of all, room. The room that we are going to provide is a superior twin bedroom, which is comfortable enough for the participants to stay overnight. Second, food and beverage. For food and beverage, we are going to provide 7 serves for 2 days. For the first day, we are going to provide breakfast, tea break, lunch, high tea and dinner. While for the second day, we are going to provide breakfast and tea break. Finally, for hoodies, we are going to give the participants 2 pieces of pen, a file and a book for the training program purpose. Therefore, the price of the training program is very reasonable 
and worthy for the participants to pay because we are not only giving knowledge but we are providing a safe and comfortable environment for their whole journey. Thank you. Hi, my name is Muhammad Shoki Fikri bin Rosli and for this training conclusion, uh, the purpose of the last session is to bring the program a close uh, to the participant and create the transition back to the community work. In addition and evaluation, the program, the participant also can learn and develop an action plan that will serve as a framework for using what they have to learn during the corner and the training and this training aim at continuous self-development and of the employees. Uh, employees are expected to develop themselves continuously in an organization when the employees in an organization are developed from time to time with definitely that with all update knowledge then definitely that the organization will grow to a greater size. I think that's all. Thank you.